Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 14th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Much love. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the last 48 hours, pointing out another M-class solar flare, watching in the northeast top right position of our sun. That is where our most latest M-class solar flare erupted. Outgoing position. As well, we've got nine Earth-facing sunspots to talk about right now. Look at the last 48 hours incoming. Some decent-sized plasma filaments erecting from the surface. Looking at outgoing here, this is where four sunspots are getting ready to leave the Earth-facing view. Right-hand side, darkened region, large plasma filament. Another quick look here at the M-class solar flare. As we've seen heightened activity over this past seven days, multiple M-class solar flares, one X-class solar flare, very busy sun for solar cycle 25. Noting out two busy sunspot regions there. One of them is growing quickly and outgoing blast there, which did produce a large CME, not in an earth facing direction. Having a look at 171 angstroms, no coronal holes to talk about. We would be looking for blackened regions on the sun. Not today. Still, though, we've seen multiple C-class solar flares on top of this M-class solar flare recent. Closer look at the sunspot regions. Notable there in the northern hemisphere, very fast forming sunspot region. Solar X-ray flux, heightened sea range as we've seen two M-class solar flares today. Geomagnetic activity, slightly elevated with a KP of 1. Looking at the DRAP absorption map, showing the highest frequency affected by the solar X-rays. Long gated solar pulses here throughout the day and extremely strong through the Pacific just in the last hour or so. Real time solar wind, we're sitting at about 316 kilometers per second. A lot of data is missing here after hopping up to 395 last night be interested to see what we are impacted with stay tuned for the next graph having a look at the NOAA space prediction spiral we are expecting a solar storm tonight and into tomorrow ISWA space prediction showing the most latest CME taking off towards Venus and as well a big band of space weather heading towards us in the next 48 hours Having a look at the sun's events, this is the past three days. Notable big flare there on the 14th, outgoing position. Schumann resonance for today is a low power of 7 after a blackout yesterday. Quality of 8.3 and an amplitude of 3. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're still pretty quiet, sitting at about 190 earthquakes according to USGS. We're going to start out here with the most recent 4.3 Argentina, 211 kilometer depth, as well as 4.7 there, Valenur, Chile. Panama reporting a 4.5 earthquake, and as well Nicaragua with a 4.2. Increasing activity across the Dominican Republic, 4.2, 3.6. Quiet across the North American plate today. Only notable earthquakes here up in Crescent City, California with a 3.6. That's off the coastline. And as well, Petrolia 3.0. Activity still pulsing there in Hawaii. 
quieting down again, Japan region. And then we get to Fiji, where we saw another deep earthquake today, a 4.9, 553 kilometer depth, as well a 4.8 there, Kermadec Islands, northern New Zealand. Earthquakes continue in Turkey as well. Romania reported yet another 5.6 earthquake today. Heads up through the region. Wow. Turkey reporting a 4.4 on top of the many aftershocks they've seen. And look at Iceland, northern part of Iceland, 3, 4.5 and greater. And this is a glance at the last seven days of earthquakes around the world. I want to take a quick moment to say thank you to everybody tuning in tonight. Hope you enjoy the daily updates, keeping humanity aware and prepared. And it's all about being ready. If you are living in an earthquake prone zone, just be ready and know what to do when it strikes. Much love, everybody, and heads up. Carrying on here with the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery around the world and as well the most recent volcanoes, looking at Fuego in Guatemala. 190 active hazards right now. A lot of them are floods. Hard to find the earthquake or the volcanoes here. Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Sabancaya in Peru, Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia. These are all just in the last three hours. Era in Japan, Cotopaxi in Ecuador, Popocatito in Mexico, Carinchi in Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador. as well Semeru in Indonesia so that's about nine volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 46 that are active and erupting that I know of right now big windy event moving into Southern California and as well Arizona as that Pacific low moves in and that system will carry on into Ontario bringing an extreme wind event overlooking the Pacific Ocean still a pretty large system heading up into the Aleutian Islands in the northern Pacific, and as well one heading towards Kamchatka. Wintry conditions prevalent through the East Indies. Tropical cyclone Freddy still alive and heading straight west. And as well, tropical cyclone Dingani now heading straight south. Pretty big system here heading into Europe. Right across Ukraine, we've got a winter storm brewing there in the last few frames. Now let's get to Venture Sky world weather forecast. Overlooking the United States, big Texas low here. Sucking up lots of Gulf moisture. We've got another low, Colorado low there. So this system here is set to bring really warm temperatures to Ontario and as well a very windy event. Extreme winds will be prevalent tomorrow across Ontario. Going to see some rain in the later in the afternoon and as well Thursday. Then it's going to get cold and then it's going to get warm again. Atlantic provinces by Friday. You've got a low pressure system on your doorstep. Things drying out across the United States. High pressure ridge builds in as the low churns off the coast there. Long range forecast making penetration. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times Friday into Saturday through parts of Bolivia and Peru and southern Brazil. Overlooking Africa, Madagascar, and of course, the two tropical cyclones that are spinning in the Indian Ocean, South Indian Ocean. Daily evaporation rains for South Africa, but a low, persistent, 
off the real uh, further southern tip of Africa is set to bring rain here the next couple days. Looking at the track of Tropical Cyclone Freddy, looks like it's going to make landfall in northern Madagascar Tuesday the 21st into the 22nd. Overlooking at Europe. Two low pressure systems hanging out over parts of Finland. Atlantic lows just now starting to come in, set to bring in some moisture. The last few days have been pretty dry across Central Europe. So this is set to definitely change things for you in the next few days. Very windy and cool event. Watching the temperatures here the next couple days, you could see some pretty cold temps Eastern Europe. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific. Still have a pretty big low here developing for the Philippines. But it looks like it's going to jet straight north and not make landfall through Malnina. Overlooking Australia and New Zealand. We've got Tropical Cyclone Gabriel who prompted a state of emergency for parts of northern New Zealand. Pretty big low pressure system heading into Northern Territory of Australia as well. Big low here hanging out over Hawaii. Set to bring some moisture here the next few days. And as well, big high pressure ridge building East Pacific. Watching the long-range forecast here, could see some nasty weather heading into parts of California and southward. And as well, some cooler conditions, long-range forecast moving into March. Heads up with these systems heading into the West Coast. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.